Welcome to another exciting episode of Life with Satellicious. With me, your host, Satellicious Karigambe Sandberry. And as you know, we have been talking about HIV and AIDS. And last week, we started about defining the terminology. What is HIV? What is AIDS? Is HIV a disease or a virus? And we really found out that HIV is a virus and AIDS is a disease. And as we continue to go further, I want you to, you know, listen attentively so that we educate and learn from each other experiences. This talk show, it's about bringing life experiences to you, to the world, so that we learn from each other. Join me as we are now going deep with the HIV and the AIDS issues. So now let's look at who is at risk for getting HIV. Remember, HIV is a virus. A person of any age is at risk. Sex, race, ethnic group, religion, economic background, sexual orientation, gender identity, all this, they can get HIV. Those who are most at risk are people who have unprotected sex with someone who has HIV. Unprotected sex means vaginal, anal, or oral sex without using a condom. People who share needles, syringes, or other equipment to inject drugs, steroids, or even vitamins or medicine with someone who has HIV. Also, babies can potentially become infected during their mother's pregnancy, during delivery, or after birth in the immediate postpartum period. They can also become infected through breastfeeding. A person of any age, sex, race, ethnic group, religion, economy, background, or sexual orientation can get HIV. We also talk about health care and maintenance workers who may expose exposed to blood and or body fluids at work sometimes get infected with HIV, meaning that um, through their jobs, there is that exposure, you know, like needle stick injuries uh, for, you know, these nurses who work with HIV patients and AIDS patients. Then we can also look that before 1985, some people were infected through blood transfusions or the use of blood products. Uh, in the United States in May 1985, screening of all blood products for HIV so the risk of HIV from blood transfusion today is now very low. You can only get HIV if infected blood, semen, vaginal fluids or breast milk gets into your body. There is another question which you also need to explore. How long can people live with HIV or AIDS? Medicines that fight HIV have helped many people with HIV and AIDS live years and even decades longer than was possible in the past. Before effective treatment was available, HIV treatments are not a cure and they do not work equally well for everyone, but they have extended the lives of many people with HIV and AIDS. Without treatment, some people live for just few years after getting HIV. Others live much longer. Researchers are studying a small number of people with HIV who have not become ill for more than 10 years, even without HIV treatment. However, these people are still infected with HIV and can pass the virus to others. You could also notice that uh, when I was sick with um, HIV, uh, and it developed to AIDS, I still remember my CD4 count was two and it was a very difficult time for my family because everyone was thinking that I'm about to die. But it's just that sense of saying if then you have 
home-based care where someone is really taking care of you so that you help to adhere the treatment. The AIDS can then revert back to HIV, meaning that I started boosting my immune system with eating good food, you know, and also adhering to my ARVs. And it helped reverting that processing of having AIDS back to HIV. So some people say, ah, when you have AIDS, you die. No, me, my HIV became a flu-blown AIDS. And I started adhering back to medication, having the help of my mother and uh, everything, you know, went back to uh, stable. That's now the HIV. So things like this can be reverted. Uh, AIDS back to HIV. You know, with those issues of HIV and AIDS, we don't need to rush when we are teaching each other. And one thing I have learned about these issues is to really take the information and adapt and simulate it into our brains. So for today, I have to call it off and join me again next week. The same talk show, Life with Tatalicious, as I am delving deep with the HIV and AIDS issues. And it's been so enlightening because we have to be equipped with knowledge. From me to delicious Karigambe and the crew behind the scenes. It's bye for now. We love you so much. And Makati Koshera Mufuunge. <laughs>